Okay, Kayla, now, your fun is up. It's time to give it up. It's time to go ahead and tell this man the truth finally. You had to make this man go through your damn phone list to find out what the hell you been hiding because he ain't caught your ass in another damn lie. And they go to thunder if y'all wondering. Yeah, that's thunder. I've been trying to wait for it to get out the way, but it ain't going nowhere. So I'm going to do it through this video. But Kayla, it's time to come clean now. You done had your little fun, your little couple of months of fun now. In a couple of weeks, it's trying. It's time to give it up and go ahead and tell this man the real reason why you all secretly, secretly, you all hush hush, and you ain't being wrong, comfortable around him no more. It's about time you come clean, Miss Thing. Oh, so Claire agrees. Yes, Ben can stay here. Trip wondering how the hell Claire can you let him stay here with us? Cause she love you, dummy. She wants you. Sierra moving on with Ben. She still want that one night in the hay with you. So she getting you. He don't get it. And I'm not for this. I I'm not in the mood to explain shit to you. Obvious you see what's going on here. If you can't see it and sign it out and spell it out, um, Trip, well, I'm sorry. You'll find out soon, soon enough when Claire make her first move on you. As I was saying, now they're doing a flashback when she said, since Ben, since Sierra won't be and I can have a trip, like I said, trip, you'll find out soon enough why she won't be in the state with y'all because she won't chew you, big dummy. You forgot about that night y'all almost had sex. Sierra came in and got you. Yeah, she been drooling ever since that moment. She said she gonna get that one night with you, goddamn it. And she plan on getting it. I didn't told you she playing the game. I peeped her as soon as she started talking to Marlena. I started fast forwarding. And how she was quick to say yes. I said, oh yeah, she won't trip. She still won't. Mm -hmm. She remembered this enough with that one night she all almost had him in the bed until Sierra came in there and bust in, bust in on them. So yeah, she won't trip. Sierra won't be in and I won't trip back. That's what she going at. I knew it. I knew. It ain't hard to read Claire Daughter. I mean Claire Daughter. It ain't hard to read Bell Daughter. She had just like her mama so it wasn't hard for me to put two and two together that she still wanted trip. And Mr. Shark, since you want money so bad, why don't you tell Hope to leave your damn client alone and go get her a damn live? Tell her she got other things to worry about, like Sammy, for instance. When Sammy come back to town, besides harassing your client and trying to run your client out of town, you need to tell Hope to get alive and find her a new toy. And stop for using her power to get what she want. I done told y'all hope that she's spoiled and she a princess somewhere. That whole stuff and all bullshit went to her head. And now she really thinks she princess and she can go around doing whatever the fuck she want to. You need to go ahead and cuss her out real quick, Ted. And scare the dog fuck out of her. And she'll stop thinking this Burger King and she can have her way too. Abigail Jr. Um, okay. You want to tell Will how um, Mr. Shark holding all the cards, a.k.a. meaning you the reason um, Sonny going through this lifetime of hell now, and why even you can't say nothing or do nothing to make this man change his mind. You want to ask Will why? Because I'm pretty sure he going to find out eventually. Because Ted said he ain't covering up your ass. He said either you going to get him that money or he going to go around blabbering, and I'm pretty sure you don't want that cake. You want to tell Will again why he holding all the cars and why you can't do nothing, I mean nothing at all to stop him or convince him otherwise? Okay. You're losing again. I mean, I know you don't want that whole Will, not Will, that whole Sonny and Leo lawsuit to come out. I know you don't want that to come out, but... I don't think there's no stopping that. Good luck with that and your decision on how you plan on stopping Ted when you said he got all the cards in his hand. I want to see what the fuck you call yourself going to do. Oh, yeah, she going to pull a gun out on him. I f Why do I keep on forgetting that this helpful going to pull a gun out? 
We'll get there. We'll get there. This thunder confusing the fuck out of me. Oh, so Andre did leave you a nice little chunk of change. So maybe he did really love you, love you like that, and he just wasn't playing you. Maybe his little cold, dark heart did have a little soft spot for you somewhere. Mm -hmm. Well, you can say at least it's the first Amara ever that you dated or married actually fit to give you some money. Cause Stefano damn sure went for to give you no damn money. At least you can say at least one of those bastards gave you some money. Be happy, Kate. Be happy. Just a first for you. Now, Kayla, you call. You still lying. You know this is job right to be nosy as fuck right. You know what you was marrying, correct? You know you can't hide nothing from a nosy MF right. Okay. So we gonna take the line roll till we get caught. Have fun with that one, Kayla. That's only gonna piss him off. Cause now you fucking with his intelligence. And I'm pretty sure people don't like to be played. I know I don't like to be played on my intelligence. So imagine how he gonna be feel. And he do this shit for a living and you like. Like I said, Kayla, go ahead and make it hard for yourself. If you like it, I love it. I swear, Claire. I swear, Claire is sick in the head. I mean. Girl, go find you a man, a man that ain't no leftover, or a man you and your cousin ain't compete. Girl, there's something wrong with you logical in your damn head that you are sitting there and play these little stupid. You young, you young, only you are pit to play these little. I'm going to give it to you. I, you. You know what? Have it, Claire. Have it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. It ain't gonna get you nowhere, but enjoy it. And Trip, you ain't the brightest little criminal yourself. Remember what you did to Kayla? You tried to fuck up Kayla's whole career. Let's not go on your little hypocritical ass rent too hard now, buddy. Cause once upon a, well, once upon a time, you was that sad criminal like Ben. You ain't murder nobody, but you almost did. But guess what, buddy? You ain't got no room to talk about Ben, cause you ain't no better than him. Y'all both got records. So what? Unless yours ain't as bad as his, but you got a record too. So Trip, shut up for that man knock you out. I got a feeling being for the not the living dog hell out of you. And I can't say you don't deserve it because you've been flexing your little Popeye's muscles ever since this boy been in this man's doorstep. Granted, I went won't be and stand with me neither. But Trip, you're doing too much, buddy. You're doing a little bit too much. You welcome to leave at any damn time. Granted, Sierra ain't got no damn business invite nobody that um y'all little loft or apartment, whatever the hell that is. She ain't got no rights. But granted, it then it's gonna happen. No thanks to Claire, no good ass. So damn pick trip. Hold on now, Kayla. So this is why you won't tell Steve, cause you got a feeling if you can't clean with Steve and told him everything you did to get that damn eye, you got a feeling that Stephen gonna shut that man eye down and make that man go blind all uh, because you told on him and yourself about how you got that bionic eye and how the, he got access to it to help. Kayla, that is not what that man said, and whatever helps you sleep good at night. If that's what you want to believe, that he'll shut it down, because you told this to clear your conscience, whatever, Kayla, you lying. Nah, son of your thing, you still in love with Will. Who didn't see that coming? And that whole Leo attempted murder plot on it made y'all love stronger. That's why Paul came in there on a ball of furry on your ass because he thought you was trying to steal Will away from him. Nah, wait, son. It ain't nobody see you and Will building y'all bond back together, getting back together. Who didn't see that coming, sonny? I mean, come on now, sonny. You fall in love with the wall if the wall look at you and say the right words. Really? We not supposed to believe that you and we're going to have those rekindled fit. 
Son, and it's obvious you still love Will. I know you want Will back. You gonna get him back regardless, cause son, um, Sonny, Paul finna leave anyway, so I guess fantasize until you get him back, fake it till you make it, just don't let Paul see you doing it, have fun, I guess. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're not feeling much comment nor judge you on the man you pick. Cause you know better. You old enough to know better and wise enough to go after another type of man besides these bastards you like to call them. You choose these bastards cause you like the way they treat you. Cause I guess you ain't never had a good man treat you the way they're supposed to. Are you supposed to be treated? So I guess you down with the bastard train. Uh, you know a fresh stock of bastards that you can get somewhere. But, K, blame your own ass for these mans. Because every man you ever dated, besides the one that died in that restaurant with that, um, and that explosion, that's the only man that you ever had that was good in your damn life. I would say Victor, but that's another bastard. So, I would never call him good. Okay, go look for your different type of man, and I promise you, you'll be happy all over again. You don't want to choose these bastards, because I guess they're easy to catch for you, but it's time to switch it up or something, Kay, because as many times as you done got your heart stumped on and got played and made a fool out of, I don't know how the hell you able to make love or love anybody else. Shit, I would, I'd be scared to if I was you. I'd keep a knife in my back pocket because I have to stab a bitch or something. I don't know how you do it, Kate. Love this bastard, then go to this bastard, then go to this bastard, and they all end up leaving you the same way, kicking you out the house like a scrap, like a scray cat with your ass hitting the ground with a wet ass. Broken, penniless. How the hell do you do it, Kate? You better than I ever because after the first one, I went there go after then another one. But apparently you love these types of men, so I got nothing for you, Kay. Well, Mr. Shark, you better start suing because Princess Hope ain't sitting her tired ass down somewhere no time soon. She need a hobby in her life and apparently that's being at the moment. So you better go ahead and start to get the papers ready to start suing her in the apartment because she ain't stopping and look like Abe okay with everything she doing. Long as it's inside the, um, the white tape, I guess he okay with it too. Ted, go ahead and take her ass to court then, cause she don't got no off button on her. Hope never had an off button on her. She need to find her one or a kill switch or something. But no, nope. go ahead and sue Ted. Exactly, Claire. Even Ben see what's going on here. I hope you don't think people are stupid in your little moves, Claire. Cause I managed to catch on in the two minutes I see them that you finna do some fuck shit. I hope you don't think ain't nobody dumb and ain't obvious. Marlena know what's going on. Ben then caught on in two seconds. I saw it coming before it even came and yes came out of your mouth. So how long is how long you think it's gonna take for everybody else to figure out what the hell going on here? Trip here lost cause I'm not looking for him to put two and two together. I guess somebody gonna have to spell it out to him, but Claire, how long you think it's gonna take for somebody else to figure out what the hell you doing? I mean, you think you're a little mastermind. I gave you the mastermind title. I'm taking it back. You're not a little mastermind. You're a wannabe. Oh my gosh, Adrian. Now we barely get scenes with you nowadays, and when we do get you back, you sitting up here telling your son to continue to obsess over a man that said he didn't love him, made him sign the voice papers, broke his damn heart into two pieces. He ain't, he tried to recover with, with um, Leo. That didn't work. Now you telling this man to obsess over damn wheel all over again, maybe this time. Adrian, I don't know what kind of mother you are, but I'm sorry. You done broke my son heart in a million pieces. Here, baby, let's go on a little dating site. Here, let's, I know about this dating site here. Let, let's go to a country club or something. 
Ain't no way no hell I'll be telling my son to go back to this, go back to this same person that broke my son's heart the first damn time. Adrian, what the hell is wrong with you? Why are you setting your son up for heartache all over again with Will? Most moms will tell you to go find you somebody else or help you try to find you somebody else. Or better yet, tell you to go to the club or something or something like that. So I guess you like your son having a broken heart, huh? I see how you roll, Adrian. Now, haven't you two then been in enough um problems to know that you never play somebody that's blackmailing you or fucking with you in in general? You never do that. Because once that money get low, they going to come back again with their hands out telling you, why should I keep your secret? You got to keep me money. That one payment started landfall, which opened the hole to your wallet, which means when they want money, they expect you to keep their... Now, Kate, I know you done been blackmailed over the years. I know that for a fact. Will, this is not your first road of your being blackmailed. You ought to know fucking better. But y'all fall for this same blackmail bull every damn time, and then y'all wonder why they never leave y'all alone once y'all get them that first payment. You wonder why they keep on coming back for more and more and more. Because y'all dummy paid them. I went and paid them a rusty nick. I pretend like I'm a pay them just enough to get their ass arrested and off my bag, but y'all fall for that every damn time and end up paying them. What, can, can at least some of y'all get smart and turn the tables on the black male as a for the money? Besides paying them, and then they come back begging y'all for more money. Like, I don't understand y'all, but okay. Wait, 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 wait. In my quest of fast work and Adrian and Sonny, I heard desperate and you're not desperate. The fuck, he ain't desperate. Yes, he is. What you call this still lusting over your ex-husband that lost his mind, don't remember you, divorce you, and you can move on, and he can move on with your ex, and you don't call this desperate still sucking your teeth because you got a piece of meat stuck in your teeth with that same ex. You don't call that? Oh, okay. I guess we call this. I guess we got new meanings for the word desperate. Okay, Sonny and Adrian. Oh, no. It went from you're not desperate to not tell him how you really feel. What? Adrian, this is why you can't find you a better, better man. Because Justin always going to be your number one common denominator. And here you go telling your son. My head hurt. Adrian, cut to the hell out. Why would you? Ooh, Adrian, you can never get your son good advice, could it, when it comes to love life. You seriously want your son back with Will that broke his heart into a million pieces. You even want to cuss out Will for what he done to your son. Now you telling him it ain't desperate. Go ahead and stay with him. Tell him how you feel. And you are proving this with your stamp of approval. Adrian, I can't with you. I just cannot and I will not with you. The same man you threatened to beat up because he broke your son hard. Now you tell... Adrian, we're going to need for you to get out the dear Abby column because you don't give great advice. You need to go on and sit down somewhere with you and Justin because you telling this boy to be thirsty, desperate, and, and still lusting over an ex-husband. May I may add that he don't remember... Well, son, remember him. Will don't remember him, but y'all get what I'm saying. Adrian, knock it the fuck off. That is ridiculous. Why would you do? Why wouldn't you do that? That's your son. Never mind. And hope, per usual, cause she do whatever the fuck she want to, and damn all the consequences till she get caught. Still around here fucking with Ben, worrying about where his whereabouts said. Now let me guess. She finna go over to hit go over there to their house, they loft or whatever the hell it is, and show her ass. And I hope Ted sue the living dog fuck out of you. Cause somebody had to teach you a lesson, Hope. Cause clearly you don't learn your lessons. And people telling you stuff, they mean telling you, yeah, you don't understand the word no very good, do you, Hope? 
So maybe somebody, it's about time somebody teach your grown ass what the word no mean and let stuff go. Your daughter is grown and she won't be, what the hell you think you're going to do about it? I'm not going down this with you, Hope. No, mm -mm. I had enough of you, too. I'm going to put you in this ca the same category where I got Eve at. Fast forward in your ass. Oh, yep, this would be a whole fucking triangle-ass mess. Now, tripping Sierra outside kissing, Sierra said my feelings not going to change for you, which is a goddamn lie. But yet, I guess being fit to try to impress her, too. So you got two dummies fighting over Sierra. Claire out there in the open. She won't trip attention, but he got his eyes on Sierra. This sound like a messy ass battlefield. And sound like Claire gonna be the main influence influencer. And gonna sound like she gonna be the one of the main characters in this whole mastermind bullshit. See so who I'ma end up with. And I don't think I got enough time in my schedule for this whole bullshit that's going along. Claire Sierra um trip being I thought I might have been interested in this, but seeing how it's shaping up already. Mm -mm. Not liking it. Not one damn bit. I can only deal with Claire for per scene. And Sierra. And her mama that don't know how to take a clue and sit down somewhere and let this thing fizzle out. But no, nah, she got to have her. Y'all know this hope pick and choose when to be a parent. Now, granted, your daughter grown and she never listened to you anyways. Now, she went dating the ex serial killer. Oh, now you got an opinion. Now, all of a sudden, you want to be all up in your daughter life now. But growing up and all this and the other, you want this damn ins in um, insert yourself into your daughter life like this. Now, all of a sudden, you want to insert your ass into her adult life. Like that's really going to happen. That's why she's ready to stay out there in the cabin with Ben because you pushed her away trying to run her adult life. You can't run this girl adult life too. You ran her childhood and her teenage year. You ain't running that girl adult child, uh, that adult, um, that adult girl, um, live. And you think for a second, your daughter that ain't paid you no attention growing up to now, you think she gonna pay you any attention home? Well, I'm sorry then. You just a delusion as that wall is, and it's not gonna happen. And now Claire putting a bug and being ill. That look, Sierra only letting you move in and only care about you guys. You helped her. She got feelings for you. She loved you. Or she liked you or whatever. Take that however you want to. Didn't I say I said? Didn't I say they was gonna compete? Tripping being here go the bullshit. Here go the bullshit. And I don't know how long I sneak in every once in a while. Not all the time, but I sneak in to see what the hell going on. Oh, so Kate trying to be tough all of a sudden, telling him, look, you get this money, don't fuck with my grandson no more. Don't even must look at him, no real little sonny, no emails, no texts, no messenger birds, none of that means. Leave him alone once you get this money. Ignore him if you walk past him. Keep it moving. Okay, Kate, he really going to listen to you. Okay, you really think you got the upper hand mm -hmm. for maybe 10, 20 seconds. I give you that when plus the gun you fit a pull out on him. I give you bad ass for $50. I ain't going to give you a whole hundred. Now, if you shoot him, you'll get 5000 in the daily double. But we'll have to see him. And of course, Princess Hope catch them in there saying, of course, Hulk walks in on them saying that Ben can live here. And now she got her opinion. Now here we go with this whole shit show getting started. Warming on up on the Friday. All out doing the I am not looking for the Claire versus Sierra over who gonna get the man again. We not playing that game show no more. I was over the first game show. I didn't hope it didn't get renewed and it got canceled. Unfortunately for me, it got renewed for a second season. And I don't think I'm going to look at the whole season. Oh, hell no.
Bonnie's back in town. So now she went from Texas to she went to Texas to Chicago. The helper managed to get caught. I don't know how the hell she managed to get caught, but she got caught. Sitting up there looking like somebody damn backup dancer with I am not looking forward to seeing Bonnie damn Lockhart ever again. Because once she came on screen, it took a damn century for her ass to get off my screen. I hope she ain't stand again like that. I hope this is a quick, short visit and not no very long one like the last damn time. Okay. You only made things worse for yourself. I hope you ain't finna call yourself shoot this man. Good luck, Kate, I guess. We'll see how this shit fall out. You pulling a gun out on this man like he ain't a whole shark and it, eat you, it can eat you whole for breakfast. But okay, you think you know what you doing. Come pull a gun out like you Billy Badass. Okay, Miss K. Anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. I'm going to get the like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. And have a good weekend. Bye.